Hey, this is Justin from Hillcrest Cabinets. Today we're going to talk about how to uh, set up your drawer slides. Uh, it's a very tedious process. I'm not going to go through put, uh, putting a brand new set of uh, hardware in there start to finish. I'll just go over some of the important details. If you have, if you're very, uh, if you have very specific needs for your drawer slides, you probably would want to contact Mosaic Training or something like that and get them to help you for an hour. Probably well worth your time if you're not well set up. They do have a lot of them preset right in Mosaic, so I mean you might not even have to do anything. The first thing you probably want to do is just check see if, if the if they even have the drawer slide set up right off the bat. So these are the ones that come pre-built into Mosaic. So there's a lot of these ones pre-set up. There's Hedich, Richelieu Optimizer is in here, uh, Salici, uh, Grass, they have a lot of Grass, Bloom, of course they have Bloom, there's some Hedich stuff in here. So that's one thing. Then basically you're gonna wanna go to Tools, Import Updated Data. Check and see if you find it in here. Um, the same goes for your door hinges, your door style, anything that Mosaic, you know, drawer boxes, anything that Mosaic pre-builds, they'll put it in here for you to update. Um, but also make sure that you're not overwriting something that you already have built into Mosaic. Um, so if you spent a lot of time on your hinges, you're not going to want to overwrite the bloom hinge with um, the import of data because this is the standard one that Mosaic sets up. So go into here find the drawer guides, see if you can find your drawer that's for your system in here first. That's going to be the first thing. A lot of them are already in here, so you probably won't even have to do anything. Um, for us, we did have to set up uh, this DTC version um, in our system, but you know, also it wasn't the worst thing ever, but we did have to work off a Bloom setup because it was a lot of tedious drilling to figure out um, so find it in here that's the first step if you can find it in there just import it right out of there so tools uh, import updated data okay so go in there try to find it go into guides look for it in here if you can't find it in here find one that's close a lot of them are the same or close to a bloom set setup so Let's go from there. So we'll say uh, we're going to hardware. So this is basically driving the holes in the gable of the cabinet to to drill where to drill them. This isn't necessarily doing the drill a drawer box uh, unless you're doing a metal side drawer. This does have that set up in here too. So we'll start with that. Let's go the legger box. Legger box is a metal side. Oops, Legerbox has a metal side and then uh, a melamine or plywood back and bottom. So here you would set that up within this. So you basically click here. You This is the length that the, the drawer box comes at. So you have your 450, 500, 550. And again, this is really tedious if you want to get into this for a brand new system. You probably would want to get mosaic training for that. So you each one has its own set of its own metal drawer box editors. So you have to go in each one individually and set these up. Otherwise that's how sometimes you can get away with making one, then copying it down into the next row. It's a little bit faster that way. So go here, similar to how to make a drawer box for a melamine drawer box. You uh, like these, this style, it brings you to this, set up set up here so back does the back go into the bottom does the bottom go into the back um, what is the width minus 38 millimeters 35 millimeters for the bottom what's the box height what's the box depth uh, do, do you require banding uh, does it work for a tray this would be if you have a tray front uh, is the width of the the grain going in the width. Um, does it have a metal back? Some of them have metal back, so we'll just disregard that. These Legger box have big giant dados on the sides, which is 
so silly for Blum. I'm not sure why they set that up. Um, but anyways, they have these big, huge dados on the side. So it's preset for that, ready to go. If you have one, you have to take this setup and go through the shape editor and the operations tab and figure out which operations and grooves you need in your parts. Um, but, you know, fingers crossed, you have, there's one in here that's set up enough for you. If you, because they're all set up, you may not use them all. See, these ones here, the Ks, these Ks are not common in Canada anyways. We don't use Ks very often. That's the, I think that's the super thin pencil drawer. We don't hardly ever use those. Uh, oh, no, that's not. So the N is the pencil drawer. We hardly use those as well, so we may end up turning those off. But the Ks are in, in between an M and a C, so I don't think those are useful. So... We don't use those at all. So if you deselect this use button, it will take it off. Um, so that's for a metal side. Basically, all your settings are within here. And then, yeah, so your settings are in there like that. This is your top clearance, back clearance, bottom clearance. And then when you, same thing, if you go into this menu, it's got your side bore for your cabinet. It's got your front bore for the front fixing brackets. Uh, it's got, you know, some require fancy drilling for the close mechanism uh, and then drilling for the rails. So everything is within these ones. You have to go through it individually. Uh, what a tedious process that is. So fingers crossed you don't need to do that. Um, the other thing is if you're setting up a tandem slide, it's all within this menu. So you basically set up with your, your you get six holes, uh, each slide, let's just stretch out this menu. Each slide has a certain amount of these holes. They don't all have every hole. Um, so like a 250 only has holes one and two. So you, you set that up right here. A 300 has holes one and three. Uh, a 450 has holes one, three, and four. And a 500 has holes one, four, and six. And these are set up here, these hole numbers. Pretty straightforward in this setup, but the other setup's really tedious to set up. So again, if you want to use spacers, you just set that up here. You can set up a spacer block for, you know, a Richelieu built bot spacer block or whomever you buy your hardware from. They usually sell these type of spacer blocks, holds it out of inch so it clears the hinge. And every time you have a drawer beside a hinge, it will, if you click this on, it will, uh, it will shrink the drawer by that much and apply the drilling that you set up in here. Um, I think that's pretty much. That's basically it without going into crazy detail on how to set these up. But if you ha usually you'd want to find out what your drilling is, do some minor adjustments. For us, we actually ended up moving out the drilling, I think, uh, two millimeters. So we just took all these numbers and pushed it out by two millimeters because we wanted the drawer box to be sort of outset a little bit from the case itself. Um, so yeah, we that's basically all we tried. To, we tried to do minimal adjustments in here. If you, again, if you have to do crazy adjustments, give Mosaic a call and do some training with them because that's going to be well worth it. I don't think you'd get what you need out of a YouTube video um, for this because it's just so tedious. You just need to sit down with someone who knows what they're doing and just go through it with them and then uh, unless you really want to tackle it, but then change these numbers around, go through every one of those. Num uh, if it's a metal drawer side, go through each one of those open menus there and change those numbers to what they need to be and then your drawers are set up all right thanks for watching take care